buckle up, because today we're diving headfirst into a geopolitical pickle jar filled with vinegar, confusion, and a frankly alarming number of we didn't see that coming party favors. That's right, we're talking about those countries throwing their support behind Russia in 2024. Now, you might be thinking, isn't Russia about as popular as a skunk at a picnic right now? And you wouldn't be entirely wrong. Some nations have decided to cozy up to Russia for reasons ranging from the understandable to the weight. They did what? So, grab your atlases and your I can't believe this is happening face because things are about to get interesting. First up, we have Belarus. You might not think of Belarus as being chummy with Russia. They have a history of tensions. Yet, here we are with Belarus as Russia's biggest cheerleader. A big part of it seems to be economic reliance. But will it pay off? Only time will tell. Next up, we have North Korea, a country that's no stranger to pragmatic decisions. For North Korea, siding with Russia is about cold, hard cash. They've been strengthening economic ties in recent years with trade deals, investments, and reliance on Russian resources. North Korea sees clear economic benefits in staying close to Russia. The government is willing to take that risk for economic stability. Syria has taken a much more overt approach to their support of Russia. It all boils down to one thing, a major trade deal and a public declaration of support. This agreement has sent shockwaves through the international community. Syria is willing to buck international pressure and support Russia. Syria has firmly planted its flag in Russia's camp. Let's talk about Iran, shall we? They're not exactly known for making impulsive decisions on the world stage. So when Iran makes a move like aligning themselves with Russia, you know they've thought long and hard about the geopolitical chessboard. And in this case, their support for Russia is a calculated move to explain country force geopolitical goals and how supporting Russia helps them achieve those goals, e.g. countering a rival power, gaining influence in a particular region, or securing access to resources. It's a high stakes game they're playing and the consequences of miscalculation could be severe. But for now, Iran seems content to play the long game, carefully maneuvering their pieces and waiting for the right moment to make their next move. Now, some countries prefer to show their support through subtle gestures and carefully worded statements. Venezuela is not one of those countries. They've taken a much more, shall we say, direct approach to expressing their solidarity with Russia. We're talking about give specific examples of public statements or actions taken by Country 5 in support of Russia, such as condemning sanctions, providing military aid, or openly praising Russia's leadership. Of course, these actions haven't come without consequences. Venezuela has faced, explained the repercussions of Country 5's actions, such as international condemnation, economic sanctions, or diplomatic isolation. But despite the backlash, Venezuela seems determined to stand by Russia, no matter the cost. In the case of China, their support for Russia can be summed up in one word, pragmatism. For them, it's all about what they stand to gain from this unlikely alliance. By aligning with Russia, China risks alienating key allies and facing potential blowback. It's a classic case of um, real politique, where national interest trumps ideology. Not every country on our list is a united front when it comes to supporting Russia. In fact, Cuba is 
is a prime example of a nation grappling with internal divisions over this very issue. On the one hand, you have described the groups or factions within Cuba that support aligning with Russia and their reasons. They argue that explain their rationale, such as economic benefits, shared security concerns, or historical ties. On the other hand, there's a significant portion of Cuba that is deeply opposed to this alliance. This internal struggle has led to describe the consequences of this division, such as political instability, protests, or difficulty in forming a cohesive foreign policy. If you were to open a history book on Nicaragua's relationship with Russia, you might be surprised. Historically, these two countries have had a tense relationship. So, what's changed? A lot, actually. Recently, Kazakhstan has shifted its foreign policy towards a closer alignment with Russia. This new alignment marks a significant departure from Kazakhstan's past. But that because um, support for Russia goes beyond simple rhetoric or economic ties. Um, they've taken it a step further by forging strategic alliances, particularly in the realm of specify the type of alliance, such as military cooperation, intelligence sharing, or joint exercises. This budding alliance is particularly significant because explain why this particular alliance is important, such as the capabilities each country brings, the geopolitical implications, or the potential threat it poses to other countries. It's a development that has put many countries on edge, as it raises concerns about discuss the potential negative consequences of this alliance, such as an arms race, increased regional instability, or emboldening Russia's actions whether this alliance will ultimately strengthen Russia's hand on the world stage remains to be seen. Finally, we arrive at country 10. Now, you might be tempted to dismiss their support for Russia as insignificant. After all, South Africa isn't exactly a global superpower, but don't let that fool you. Their support, while perhaps symbolic, has a ripple effect that extends far beyond the borders. South Africa's decision to side with Russia has emboldened other smaller nations to follow suit, creating a sense of explaining the impact of South Africa's actions, such as normalizing support for Russia, weakening international consensus, or emboldening other countries with similar views. So, there you have it, 10 countries, 10 surprising stories of support for Russia in 2024. It's a messy, complicated picture, one that defies easy answers or simple explanations. But what's clear is this. The old rules of global politics are being re rewritten right before our eyes. Alliances are shifting, power dynamics are in flux, and the future is more uncertain than ever. Because the decisions made today, the alliances forged, and the support offered, will shape the world we live in for years to come.